Longtime friends, four and a half years, co-workers, John Spencer, Dominic Kinnear, doing battle for the second time of the season tonight. And we take a look now at what the lineups are. They've thrown out again the best 11 for the Timbers, two changes from the Vancouver game, Jewsbury and Al-Hassan return, Darlington Nagby back up front. Changes from their most recent results two weeks ago, a 1-1 draw with Chicago. Cruz comes back into the right side of midfield. Cancer Awareness Month is put into play by the Houston Dynamo. And this massive game for playoff positioning is underway. The Timbers to Pino. John Hodge can't pull up space. He's fighting Kenneth Cooper outside. Timbers appealing for a corner kick. Referee says Cooper to Smith hit it. Well, the man in hot form got himself in the right kind of space. It's a really cleverly weighted ball from Diego Chora. He takes it with his right, can't quite manoeuvre it onto his left foot in a position where he can hit the target. Parker Davis, and the game is opened up. Nagby decked off the line by Hano. Referee says no foul. Now that was a foul. A blatant obstruction from Hino. Camargo. Luis Camargo given space. And Troy Perkins does well. I'll tell you what, the referee is allowing things to play here and... Ball is scoring. Cody again almost got on the end of it and again closely cleared. Al Hassan! Well done, Tally Hall and all the traffic. Now a little bit too short on that one, Khalif Al Hassan. Saw him. Ben went on to the... ball, I think he was at New York. At Davis to take. That's in from Andre Hano. And against the run of play, the Houston Dynamo with the big time goal. He wondered straight away how much that man being off the pitch has hurt the Timbers. Again, Brad Davies, was it 15 assists? We know he's got a lovely left foot. Hano just makes a run from the four. And he gets to the first man, he runs from the penalty spot, you see he just gets ahead of everybody, gets to the ball first, and well, Joy Perkins can do nothing about it. You'll see here, Hino comes on the outside, he's the first man, see number 31 there, gets to the ball first, that's the most... Cruz tracking down to Holland and levels him. And the referee is pulling his back, no one can hear the whistle, I tell you what. Danny Cruz, when he came in, he had his forearms up. He knew that, that was going to be big contact. Let me tell you, Mike Chabola hasn't moved from the moment he got hit. And that's a really poor challenge. He went down with his head first, and he hasn't moved a muscle since he got hit. And that's a really poor challenge. And it may be a generous yellow card. We'll look on a replay to 21-year-old Danny Cruz. That's a yellow card. And, well, you'll see it. Only eyes for the ball, he comes in, oh. he gets a whack, I mean... That's, that's a 15-yard penalty yeah. in an NFL game, Robbie. Yeah. This referee has been really leaning with this Houston team. He follows through with the arm, and he's going to see two orange shirts. Oh, it's going to be a bit ragged out there. It's getting scrappy, but you've got to fight for possession. The knockdowns now are important, those 50-50 challenges. Gotta make sure green shirt comes out on top. Cruz! Unbelievable! Where did that come from? Danny Cruz on his left foot. Looked no danger when he first picked up the ball and stepped inside. Well, he silenced this crowd. You see, he steps inside. I think Mike Chabot is almost saying, well, he can have the ball there, and then he does that. It's his second goal of the season. Almost cross. Dangerous! And not over the line, says the linesman on his side, Frank Anderson, who was in perfect position. Pretty much got an extra man in midfield. We've lost a man at the back to gain a man in midfield. Nagby, looking against Hano. This is the, really the biggest in-game tackle switch we've seen this season. That's for Cooper! Big chance. Really big chance for Kenny. 
and fairness to him, the ball wouldn't quite come quick enough to him. You'll see as he's just lofted in, he's waiting and waiting. You'll see As just jumped in front of him, whether that slightly put him off. Really like to see Kenny go and attack that ball. Just off the side of his head a yeah, little bit. Didn't quite get the contact he'd like. Cooper finds Perlaza. Shut up. Back for Perlaza. Right in front for Cooper is onside. Goes down, referee. We play on. Shut up. Oh, Hudson right to Tally Hall. For a moment, I thought the referee looked to be put into the spot. He looked like he was running in to do something. Then he just allowed the game to play. Again, it's that physical play we talked about from Houston. Challenge in the back. Cooper goes down. His boots in there. His arms flying. There's a challenge in behind. Newsbury lost it in. Horst is there. It's off the post. Paul may have gotten a fingertip to it. And that will be the final action of the night. And the Houston Dynamo take one big step towards the postseason. You see the reaction from the Timbers. They know that they're not done, but it's just gotten an awful lot harder to try to become the fourth expansion team in MLS history to make the postseason at the first opportunity.